Welcome to day three, everyone. How has everything been so far in this 90 day game plan? If you have been following us all the way through on day one, I spoke a bit about what to expect, spoke about my motivation for all this. Yesterday, day two, we talked a bit about the discipline, sticking it through. And what's going to happen now is we're going to get a bit more concrete on what's happening actually in the company. What are we working on in those 90 days and what you can be expecting? Now, we're going to start again a bit more high level. And over the next coming days, we're going to dig deeper and deeper and deeper, more specific, more specific to really kind of be extremely transparent over all those 90 days. Maybe the question you've been asking, and this is not only externally, also internally, what's actually the target? What's the goal for those 90 days? And I didn't really specify that on day one. And that was intentional. What for us, the key achievement out of those 90 days is, is that we need to have product market fit. Again, product market fit means, and I think Sam Altman is the one who defined this really, really well when he was still leading Y Combinator. It differentiates what's a hobby where you do something for yourself. You are, you, you like what you do, you love what you do, but, and this is the massive difference, you don't really make money of it. It doesn't necessarily yet mean that you're profitable but it means that you don't really make money of it. And the way Sam Altman defined this was that he said product market fit means that whatever you build, whatever you offer, a product or service, is not only used and loved by someone that this person would even pay you to use that. On top of that, they talk about it, recommend that to their friends, to family, to people around them. And so this means it's a service that has a net promoter score higher than zero. So a positive net promoter score. I don't want to go into the specifics of the net promoter score and all these marketing lingo. I think that's not so relevant. But the general concept is extremely important. It means that a company manages to provide something that people use, they pay to use that, they talk about it, and the company only has to use marketing budget or only has to do active marketing to speed the entire process up, but not necessarily to actually get it going. And this is extremely important. Now, when I look back in our history, I think in 2019, when we started with staking, I mean, the idea was all about cash flow on, the, on your cryptocurrencies. With staking, I think we kind of started to hit product market fit at that point. But it really, really came in 2020 and 2021. And I think all of crypto with DeFi and then NFTs, this was something where that was extremely strong. And look, a lot of our customer base, probably also you watching this, you remember this time when you were using our service for you to get cash flow in your crypto. And then 2022 happened. And I think that's when basically all crypto companies lost product market fit. Had less to do with the companies. It just had to do that crypto kind of all had this massive implosion. And all of all the companies kind of really struggled. And then 2023 came. And in 2023, companies started to build it up. For us, this meant we wanted to implement an exchange. We not only wanted to have cash flow, we also wanted to have positions. We wanted to add bundles. So there was a lot of things that we started to understand that we had to offer. And then sadly, that winding up application came and that came during an absolute brutal time because it was during the entire bull run. And crypto and money in general tends to be sticky. Most people switch away from a platform, not necessarily because another platform is so much better, Sometimes this happens, but most of the time it's not the case. Most of the time it's rather because you flee from that platform to another platform. And the only reason you come back is because the offer is so attractive to come back. Like some banks do this all the time where they give you these insane startup offers, right? Some of the crypto platforms do that. But most of the time it's really more because you are fleeing. And so that for us was so insanely destructive over those last eight months. Because during a time when most other companies were acquiring new customers, were acquiring funds, for us, it was the exact opposite. We lost most of our customers. These customers obviously took their funds with them. And this went all out and very little came in during a time that was actually supposed to be about building and growing. For us, it was a full implosion. And so that's what is so crucial right now in those 90 days to turn this around. So the target, and I don't want to give you the metrics yet. I'm going to give you those metrics down the line in the next couple of days. But the outcome as a general concept is for us to be confident again that we have found product market fit. Now, I've gotten a lot of feedback from you over the past two days when I asked actually for product market fit. We also had internal discussions where we discussed these things. 
And there are a few ideas right now that I think will lead to very, very strong product market fit again over those 90 days. A lot of the concept is, again, and this is our, if you think about our product features, has always been around the same three core principles. It's all about being simple and straightforward. It's all about being transparent, which builds trust. And it's about attractive returns. And one of the things that I think we have done really well so far is this adding on of bundles. Now, this is a very, very large general idea, but I think with a lot of these things that we're building right now and th things that are coming together, it's going to be very straightforward to compile those ideas again together. And I'm going to leave it high level here. I don't want to dig deep right now on the bundles and what to expect because we're going to have separate sessions in the next couple of days. Decision making, how do we get to those things? These are things that maybe if you're watching this as an entrepreneur, help you as well. But I just want to give a bit of the overview on this. The general idea behind those bundles is that you have an easy on-ramp. Now, this has been something that has been the hardest part for us because none of the field providers, none of the banks wanted to work with us during this winding up application. It was so freaking painful because all of them were just scared what would happen if the court grants the winding up application. So it took us now to finally get this going again so that we have a very solid on-ramp Later down the line, also a very solid off-ramp. That's the key thing, right, to kind of be end-to-end. -end. And then in the middle, have full transparency and have attractive tools, have attractive ways for you to get exposure. And there's going to be a lot. There's going to be those very straightforward, safer ones, the blue-chip ones, 50-50 Bitcoin, Ethereum, for example. It can be things like a 40-40-20, where 40% is Bitcoin, 40% Ethereum, 20% stable coins. And it can go to all the crazy ones, for example, Solana mean coin bundles that, and now comes the key part, rebalance automatically in different time frames. For example, a Solana mean coin bundle, you're probably going to want to rebalance on a daily basis and constantly be adding and removing the new kind of hype coins so that you have an autopilot, a very easy way to get exposure to this entire hype. But then probably a Bitcoin Ethereum bundle, you're not going to want to rebalance on a daily basis, maybe just on a monthly basis, right? So that's the key thing. And then comes a core principle. You're always going to want cash flow on top of those positions. And that's also something where we're going to be working on hard to provide this for all the coins and get you as attractive. And that's the key thing, though transparent yield. Because if it's not transparent, you don't really know where it's coming from. Very difficult for you to gauge the risk. And so obviously that's a very, very high level. There's going to be ways how to have trading bots in those bundles where, where you have, and that's also going to be an interesting one, very customizable bundles. You're going to have uh, bundles that you can provide that others can follow. You get a fee when others enter into those. It's going to work with influencers. There's going to be copy bundles of influencers. And it's going to be this concept again that we always had. Simple access, very transparent, and very attractive on autopilot. It's not those things where you have to sit on a daily basis, watch the entire thing all the time, but really be very straightforward. And so this is, again, on a very, very high level. Now, there's going to be small tactics in the middle. There's going to be small things we'll be adding, removing, maybe a bit of changing. Maybe in two or three weeks, we realize, hey, we need to take a bit of a right turn here, a bit of a left turn here. But that's just what I think the, the road we're going to go down, because at the end, that really fits in with everything else. It fits in with the exchange, with the on-ramping, with the off-ramping. It fits with having a straightforward process. And at the end, the golden is, where do we get there? Can we, after 90 days, say, yeah, this is product market fit. We have people who love this stuff, just like they used to love what we offered two years ago, and they're telling friends about it. And so that's going to be the absolute crucial part in those 90 days. Now, for you, right, what does this mean? If you're watching this just because you want to be inspired on how to do this for your own business, Think about what does product market fit mean? This is crucial. If you have been a customer of ours, consider coming back. Consider depositing the funds. Consider, consider getting cash flow on your crypto, whatever those cryptos are. Consider using our exchange. And if you are for the first time watching a video on the platform about the platform of what we do, head over to bakes.io, download the app, try out the various things, look at the bundles we already have, look at the exchange offering, and just get involved. And then obviously, give us the feedback. What are the things in those bundles? Additionally, on top, a site that give you reason to see product market fit with us. With this, that's it for day three. See you tomorrow for day four. Thank you so much. Yours truly, Julian. Bye-bye.